Hi everyone, I am Dr. Bahadeen Abdurrahman Hadi. I am a senior lecturer of oral maxillofacial medicine at Faculty of Medicine, University of Karbala in Iraq. I would like to present uh, my pilot study that conducted 2017 entitled Measuring Tolerance Dose of the Cytotoxic Methotrexate for Induction of Oral Mucositis in Dark Abote Rat. Oral mucositis is considered as an acute side effect in patient undergoing cytotoxic chemotherapy. When it's severe and or widespread, usually associated with pain, bleeding, and increased risk of systemic infection, so it needs more fluids, nutritional support, and significant additional hospitalization costs. Methotrexate, as a cytotoxic therapy, folic acid antagonist especially, is widely preferred as a chemotherapeutic agent but its efficacy limited due to its side effects. The exact mechanism of oral and GIT mucositis are not fully understood until a lot of progress, but uh, yet a lot of progress has been made over the last several years. This is due to development of representative preclinical animal models of mucositis like mouse, hamster, rat. Recent data have shown that the dark agote rat model is suitable to assess safety and the efficacy of chemotherapeutic agent. The aim of this study uh, include the adjusting of the optimal toxic dosage of the methotrexate that can be used in a standard research protocol Reduce the mortality rate of the experimental animals for reproducibility of this research and other scientific topics. The materials and methods, a total of 16 male rats were included in this study and divided into three groups. A group A included five rats, group B included six rats, and the group C included five rats. All, the, all these animals were kept in a cage under standard condition, room temperature, standard rat chew, and water, and water. Group A were injected with a dose of 80 mg per kg methotrexate, intraperitoneal injection. All these animals injected with, with uh, by intraperitoneal site. Group B were injected with high dose of 60 mg while group C were injected with 40 mg and this wide range of uh, sample of the mucosal changes that occur due to injection of the cytotoxic methotrexate drug and also we have the range of the collected clinical scores experimentally induced by injection of by injection of cytotoxic chemotherapy the score that used in this study was uh, depend on the modified scale that uh, produced by Chu et al 2009 and range from score 0 to five, score 5 with various range of the effect that affect the mucosal lining and the results conduct, uh, collected from this study concentrate on the statistically significant differences between the animal and the dose of the cytotoxic therapy that inject the group A with 80 milligrams, all rats had died four days after injection due to severe toxic uh, GIT toxicity, uh, especially the diarrhea. The mucosal changes notes in two rats suddenly after two di uh, in two rats only 
we can uh, notes the clinical changes while group B we can we were injected with dose of 60 milligram at day 7 we can collect all rats induced mucositis with the main score range from score 1 to score 2 but all the rats have died after 2 to 3 days let uh, sorry 2 to 3 weeks after injection while at group C all rats were injected with a dose of 40 mg of the MTX at day 0 they have not developed oral mucosal changes this result revealed statistically significant decrease in the lifespan regarding methotrexate doses while in concern to clinical scoring that conduct, connect, collected from this study showed statistically significant raising this outcome experimentally induced oral mucositis independent of the doses that used the mucositis is a very painful mucosal damage as a consequence of cancer therapies including high doses of chemotherapy Severe oral mucositis can negatively influence the patient's prognosis and have important economic impact resulting from costs associated with the management of symptoms. The raised mortality rate in this pilot study due to chronic diarrhea, chronic uh, toxic, to high toxicity of the GIT, renal and the or renal and or liver toxicity the result collected from this study could be coincided with the result that collected from the study of Lutfi and Z 2009 that showed the photo photo micrograph of the buccal mucosa of the treated animal with 80 milligram with the same dose that used in this study showed significant decrease in the thickness of the epithelium and the causes due to direct inhibitory effect of the chemotherapy on the DNA replication and the mucosal cellular proliferation result a reduction in the renewal capacity of the basal epithelium while the other study that published in 2014 by Sultan showed after showed the uh, sub-epithelial inflammatory cell infiltrate with the congestion of blood vessels and also increase the thickness of the epithelium without induction of the clinical mucositis and this may resemble our uh, my the result of this study there is a uh, there is no clinical induction of the mucositis at dose 40 mg. The conclusion showed that the 60 mg is a perfect dose for experimental induction of mucositis in this animal model with minimal mortality rate and the representative clinical grading of lesions of oral of experimental oral lesions that can synonymous human mucositis while at the high dose of 80 milligrams the muco experimental mucositis can induce but with high mortality rate and with lower life span can reach to four days only while at lower doses of 40 milligram and the result of this study failed to produce the muc uh, mucosal changes, the clinical mucosal changes at this lower dose. Thanks for listening.